Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Second Hand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite fat mouth, fat ass, bringing you fat stacks of fucked facts. Today, I guess some leftists need some education from some random hippie hillbilly out here on the left coast. Evidently, I gotta be the one to point out to some of you folks that it's something that you're missing here. <laughs> You ever see the old comedy videos where guy comes walking out of the yard or out of the shed or whatever and he steps on a rake and the handle flips up and smacks him in the face. And everybody laughs because he did it to himself. And then that kind of got to the point where that bit became the guy would step on a rake and smash him in the face and turn around and step on another rake and smash him in the face and he'd just be there getting whap, 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 you know. You might have even seen something similar to that in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie about having thoughts and getting slapped in the face. It's kind of another humorous analogy and a step left on the same joke. Well... I want to point out the same joke, but the punchline is not funny. Four years ago, Donald Trump gets elected, and we have one year's worth of Antifa riots in the street. Shit gets destroyed, stuff gets burned, people get hurt. Got Proud Boys in the streets with Antifa up in Portland, etc., but you notice it's not an awful lot of San Antonio, Texas gets invaded by left-wingers. It's not an awful lot of random Midwestern city full of cowboys gets harassed by Antifa and their 16 different gender identities. The problems erupt on the streets of Antifa's home because Antifa causes problems where they live and they're too lazy to go somewhere else. They shit where they eat. So Donald Trump gets elected. We have a year's worth of riots. It never really seemed to stop. We get all the other political bullshit. Russia gate, Ukraine gate, all that crap. That's beside the point. All of that stuff is mostly just setting the stage and turning the temperature up while they boil the frogs. You and me, we're those frogs. So not too long ago, in an effort to protest, who the fuck knows what at this point, some idiot got a statue pulled down on their fucking head. I don't know if they lived or died. I don't care. If they got pulled out of the gene pool, Darwin award that motherfucker because they deserved it. The statue destroyers went on to destroy a statue of an elk in Portland. Because the elk is patriarchy or something. And then they went after Frederick Douglass. Abolitionist. Tell me again what you're trying to destroy. What is it you're remonstrating against? You're trying to destroy history, but it's not the history you say you're trying to destroy. It's all of history. You just want to rewrite the new bullshit story and no one around to tell anybody any different, huh? So the statues come down on somebody's fucking head. Nobody really fucking cares. Juxtapose that to Ken and Karen, if you will, the meme people defending their house with the uh, weapons from the hundreds of BLM protesters that came onto private property and then did damages. Ed Buck. You know who Ed Buck is? You should look him up. I believe he's a politician in California somewhere. I believe Ed Buck has a habit. 
Ed Buck has a habit of black men turning up dead with drugs in their systems after sexual escapades in Ed Buck's house. To my knowledge, this has happened three times. Ed Buck has nearly killed or killed some poor fella by getting him high as fuck on meth and having his way with him. I don't know what they do, but they're clearly doing drugs together because the drugs kills a black man in Ed Buck's home. Ed Buck, a white man in authority, murders a man through overdose while having sex and no one cares. Murders a second and a third man, no one cares. Derek Chauvin helps a man to death through an old overdose in the streets and we have two months of riots. What's the difference? What exactly is the difference? The Ed Buck was fucking the people that killed it, that he killed. That makes all the big difference. Black people still died. So, if if Ed Buck can kill people and no one cares, and Derek Chauvin kills people, and we have all of this crap, you'd expect that the notion would be. Like it started out to be implied at least, hey, we want police brutality to be addressed and we want uh, racial injustice to be addressed. Well, you can have whatever opinions you want on those topics. Numbers kind of show themselves to be what they are. I'm not here to argue those points at all. <coughs> What I will talk about is that of all the people who've been hurt or killed, of all the property that's been damaged, of all the neighborhoods and families affected, I don't see a lot of conservatives, right-wingers. I see the leftists getting stirred up by the Democrats and the media and hurting other leftists. Has anybody else noticed this? That's a trend. Derek Chauvin kills a man. In response, we have Seattle's Chaz. In Seattle's Chaz, let's take a look here at my notes. June 7th, the driver was shot in the arm. June 20th, a 19-year-old was dead on arrival and a 33-year-old was shot. Terrorists refused to give police and ambulance access to the victims inside the Chaz. 22nd, you got a 17-year-old shot. June 21st, rather, uh, on 23rd, you got a man in his 30s that was shot there. And that's just at the Chaz. That's just off the top of some quick search this morning. So, on the 29th, you got the fourth shooting in 10 days, a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old. The 16 dead 14-year-old critically wounded. I want to ask you how many of those people were ideologically opposed to the movement. I'm willing to bet you none of them. They were either there because of the entertainment value or their belief system in, in what was going on there. They were out there protesting or supporting the protests or just seeing what it was about because it's a curiosity. But I bet you none of those people were anywhere near the ideological right wing. They're, they're either neutral, independent, or leftists. All of the people that were shot and or killed there at the Chaz... They're, they're people who supported or at least were neutral to what the Chaz was doing. They weren't there in opposition. And in Atlanta, the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was killed. 
No, he killed him fucking self. I don't give a shit what your opinion is about that. That motherfucker took his own damn life. You don't... Sh <laughs> you don't go beatboxing with two fucking cops and when you win... Snatch up his fucking taser and use it to sh try and shoot, dude. Like, if you were getting away, just get away, motherfucker. But the moment you killed your damn self was when you pointed a weapon at a cop and pulled the trigger. I don't give a fuck if it was a BB gun, a squirt gun, a goddamn laser death ray from the aliens. Motherfucker, you killed your damn self. But in response, there have been a couple people shot. Some people killed, not the least of which some poor little eight-year-old girl. Black Lives Matter, huh? George Floyd being murdered means you got to go shoot up an eight-year-old little kid? Was she a conservative? Was her family even against what the fuck you were protesting? And she dead, and they fucked up in the heart and head now. You think you won friends that day? You think you gained support that day? Ignorant people will turn a blind eye to the notion and call it a tragedy, whatever. Be, be like, that's the way it is. You make an omelet, you break a few eggs. Motherfucker, they're your eggs. You ain't breaking the neighbor's eggs. You seeing a pattern yet? Uh, some crazy bitch and her tranny friend got creamed dancing on the Interstate 5 up in fucking Portland and Seattle. These assholes blocking off the fucking highway have done it for days. You guys want to pretend like this shit uh, is legal or legit. It's not. Just because the cops aren't fucking busting your ass like they should. In my opinion, the police officers standing down and allowing this stuff to happen deserve to be fired, too. You're not going to do your job. Why are we paying you? I hire a taxi cab. I don't pay him to sit around and jaw jack with me. Drive the fucking car. I hire a security professional. I want him to make sure my locks are good and sound. I want him to make sure that my windows are good and secure. I don't pay him to stand around and tell me about shit. I pay him to fucking secure my property. If I hire a chef, I don't pay him to tell me about the fucking ingredients. I pay him to cook the fucking steak. And if they don't, guess how long they keep their job? In Atlanta... 25 people shot just this fucking weekend, the 4th of July. Not to mention the 8-year-old girl that they killed. Just this weekend, they shot 25 more fucking people. You see in the pattern, the Democrats stir up some shit. The media amplifies the shit stir. And you moronic leftists go ape shit crazy like a bunch of fucking rabid raccoons in a fucking cage and you kill each other. Killing each other. You're killing yourselves. Because the Democrats stirred up your shit. Because the media fed you full of lies. Because what? It's some kind of cultural admonition against yourself? You need to prove that racial tensions are high so black people kill black people. You need to prove that police brutality is on the high so black people kill black people. The Dems fuck up shit. The media amplifies it, and you hurt yourself. Metaphorically, that's like the neighbor threw a rock through my window. So in response, I cut off my own arm. 
God damn, you look stupid. And people are dying. Fucking grow up. Wake up, America.